Membrane proteins are the key for communication between the cells. They mediate fundamental biological processes such as signal transduction, transport processes across membranes, sensing of chemical signals and coordination of cell-to-cell -cell interactions. Numerous diseases like the coronavirus enter human cells through membrane proteins. This makes them an important target for drug development and an interesting object of research. Therefore, it might seem surprising that although 23% of the encoded human genes are membrane proteins, they only represent less than 1% of known protein structures. However, it can be difficult to separate a membrane protein from its cell membrane in order to analyze it. The reason for this can be found in the structure of the cell membrane. This consists of a lipid bilayer which is made up of two rows of phospholipids. Each phospholipid consists of a phosphate head, which is hydrophile, linked to two fatty acid chains that are hydrophobic. Membrane proteins mimic these properties. Therefore, the surfaces of membrane proteins inside the hydrophobic core of the lipid bilayer are also hydrophobic, whereas those parts of the protein in contact with the aqueous membrane environment are hydrophilic. Solubilizing a membrane protein in a standard aqueous buffer prompts the hydrophobic parts of the membrane protein to clump together. One could imagine this to function similarly to a micelle, where the hydrophobic tails of the phospholipid turn inwards to touch the water as little as possible, and the hydrophilic heads point outward. This alters the native structure and folding of the membrane protein. In most cases, the consequence is that the membrane protein cannot be studied in its native form anymore. This is where nanodis enter the stage. Nanodis imitate the amphipathic environment of a lipid bilayer. This allows membrane proteins to be removed from the cell membrane whilst maintaining their original physiological properties. Additionally, nanodis are highly soluble in aqueous solutions which allows the membrane proteins inside them to be kept in a solution without detergents. With the help of nanodis, membrane proteins can thus be studied in a native-like environment. But what is a nanodisc? The term nanodisc describes a disc-shaped structure that is able to stabilize membrane proteins by using a belt. This enables membrane proteins to maintain their folding after being removed from the cell membrane. Some nanodisks also contain a core of phospholipids, which can either be of artificial origin or originate from the cell membrane itself. The two main categories of nanodisks are membrane scaffold protein nanodisks, or in short, MSP nanodisks, and synthetic nanodisks. In accordance to their names, MSP nanodisks are held together by membrane scaffold proteins, whereas synthetic nanodisks use a synthetic belt. If you're interested to see how a synthetic nanodisc can be used in a lab, check out our video on how to use SMAR. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.